The following video is for educational purposes only. Please use this information with discretion. Our intent is to help you become a more informed healthcare consumer. Ortho University presents Elbow Arthritis by Dr. David Eisenhower. And now it's time to ortho you. Hello, I'm Dr. David Eisenhower. I'm a board certified and dual fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon specializing in surgery of the shoulder, elbow, and hand. Today we are going to discuss elbow arthritis, what it is, how to diagnose it, and how to treat it. We'll give you some simple home diagnostic tools as well as some simple home treatment remedies which may save you that initial doctor's office visit. So first of all, what is arthritis? We've discussed this in some of the previous uh, videos. Uh, so we won't get into the pathology of osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis versus post-traumatic arthritis, but suffice to say there are multiple different types of arthritis and all types of arthritis can affect the elbow and its surrounding joints. The most common is osteoarthritis, that is normal wear and tear age-related arthritis. Uh, but also very common in the elbow is uh, post-traumatic arthritis due to old injuries and traumas. And then uh, rheumatoid arthritis tends to have an affinity for the, uh, for the elbow as well. So if there's any question of what type of arthritis you have, you definitely need to see a provider. Uh, an inflammatory type of arthritis such as rheumatoid uh, needs to be worked up and treated differently than post-traumatic and osteoarthritis and typically that is a medical treatment although surgical treatments uh, uh, can be considered as well depending on what needs to be done. But in terms of uh, osteoarthritis and post-traumatic arthritis uh, which uh, will, is what we'll focus on in this video, um, patients will typically develop symptoms um, slowly with time. Uh, so this is an insidious onset of symptoms. This is something that usually um, does not occur uh, overnight. Patients may have some uh, vague achiness that, that gets uh, increasingly worse with time. Um, in the case of a post-traumatic arthritis, oftentimes there is an old uh, incident or old trauma, maybe the patient had a pediatric fracture in childhood or an elbow dislocation, you know, as a teenager, and now, you know, 20 or 30 years later, they're starting to have some elbow symptoms and some elbow pain. Um, something else that patients will notice usually is limited range of motion. So as the elbow becomes arthritic and as bone spurs develop, typically the capsule around the elbow um, that holds the joint fluid in, usually that will contract as well. Um, and the elbow tends to be very uh, sensitive to uh, contracture in terms of as the elbow joint contracts, range of motion becomes quite quite limited. So patients may have popping or clicking or catching, particularly if there's bone spurs or, or loose pieces of bone or cartilage floating around in the elbow. They may have limited range of motion or they may just have pain or, or some combination thereof. Um, so a, a simple self-diagnostic tool would be check your elbow range of motion. Patients should have full range of motion. <clears throat> Not only flexion and extension but also what's called pronosupination. So put your elbows at the side your palm should easily go straight up and your palm should easily go straight down. So that is full range of motion of the elbow. Um, and then also try to pinpoint where the pain is. And arthritic elbow pain tends to be a deep, vague pain. Sometimes the medial side of the joint is more arthritic or sometimes the lateral side is. And so sometimes pain does tend to isolate to one side or the other. But please watch the other videos um, to help with diagnostic tools for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis to help you really delineate what's causing your, your elbow pain because there's not specifically one exam maneuver that we can, can perform to show whether or not you have elbow arthritis. What I really lean on is x-rays. So when patients come see me in the office, um, the first thing we get is an x-ray uh, of the elbow and we look for bone spurs and joint space narrowing and all the signs of arthritis, be it osteoarthritis, post-traumatic, or rheumatoid arthritis. Sometimes rheumatoid arthritis does have some telltale uh, radiographic signs, 
Uh, however, if we're worried about an inflammatory arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis, we'll order a blood panel and oftentimes refer patients to rheumatology for medical treatment of that um, until it gets to the point of, of perhaps needing an elbow joint replacement and then the patients will come back and, and see us. We pause now with two minutes left in the video and ask that you open a separate browser screen and go to MoonlightOrtho.com where you can quickly register for a free patient account and get immediate access to the final portion of this video, including home treatments and remedies, along with any additional treatments that may be prescribed or recommended in office or via telemedicine, including when it may be time to consider surgery. This also gives you full access to the entire OrthoU video library, highlighting all of the most common orthopedic conditions. Once registered on Moonlight Ortho, Patients will have an all-inclusive orthopedic telehealth hub at their fingertips and can pay to be seen by a board-certified and fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon. Moonlight Ortho is the first and only orthopedic-specific telemedicine practice where patients can be seen online by a board-certified orthopedic surgeon. Via telemedicine, patients can receive x-ray, MRI, lab, and physical therapy orders along with prescription medications all within 24 to 36 hours from your time of visit. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and appreciate the free advice that our surgeons have offered you, please rate and subscribe.